Hey everyone, I'm Alyssa. Today I want to share with you my 2021 reading goals. I'm hoping that this will be kind of a brief, potentially one take video. Um, I just want to have, I guess, sort of like a little update on what I want to be focusing on this year. And it's not very complicated. Um, I have very a very small number of goals and I think that's going to be best for me this year for a few reasons. Um, one, I am in the middle of a master's program. So I have an amount of my reading that is required for that um, and I have a little bit less like flexibility and time. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to keep it a little bit simple and a little bit focused towards something that would naturally work with uh, worth with my natural reading. Um, in the past, I've definitely had like lists of uh, like books I should read, which I've learned a lot about myself, and that comes from like feeling of like a imposter syndrome feeling that if I haven't read enough of the canon, then I'm not like a real reader. Um, and I think I've simultaneously sort of read enough. Um, and also recognize that and kind of caught myself. So we're putting a halt on like the books that I need to read. Um, I'm not doing that. I mean, I have plenty that are required for my master's, so that's fine. Um, anyway, let's stop rambling. I've kind of gotten off track already and I want to share with you my goals. So I have four main goals and okay, so my first goal is to read everything on my physical TBR except one book. And the one book that I am exempting myself from is Swan's Way by Marcel Proust, and I'm just not going to do it to myself this year. I'm actually not sure if it's Proust or Proust. Um, this is a notoriously difficult novel, and so I just, um, I want to read it when I actually want to read it, not because I need to read it, otherwise I think it will be torture. The rest of my physical TBR, I think I only have nine books. I have um, The Cat of Monte Cristo, Passing, Half Lifelong Romance, Sense and Sensibility. I technically think I've listened to this, but I'm not really counting it. I want to. I want to experience it again. Um, uh, Flight and Dune, and I'm pretty sure that that's it. No, that's not it. I also have the color purple and Villette. Six, seven, eight books. That's eight books. I thought I had nine. I might have missed one. I guess I don't. I only have eight. So that's why I saved my entire physical TBR and barring. Um, flights, flights I got in ne December, November of 2019. Other than that, all of the other books I got in 2020, most of them in the last six months. So I feel like I actually have my physical TBR pretty well under control, but I do think that I haven't been reading enough of it. Um, so in order to like feel free to continue buying books, I want to make sure that I'm reading what I've already bought as well. So by the end of the year, I want to have read all of those books. My second goal um, is to read 100 books this year, which I typically, um, for the last three years, have read somewhere between 60 and 70 books, so 100 is a pretty big jump up. But I think the difference this year is that one, I have a lot of books assigned to me for, um, oh gosh, <laughs> for my class and also, um, at any time in the last three years, I would have easily read a hundred books if I hadn't at some point gotten to a reading slump. So my trouble is not the ability to like read at that volume on a monthly basis, it's the ability to sustain it for a 12 month period. Um, so that's that, that's my goal and I'm gonna try and do it, we'll see how it goes. My third goal, um, and this is maybe a little bit weird, but on Goodreads, um, I want to end the year with 500 books on my to be read pile and right now I think I have somewhere near like 650 so I'm not gonna read my way down to 500 books um, but this has been a product of like sort of treating my to be our shelf as just like a place to throw any book that kind of sounds good and I want to change that habit into it being a book like only putting books there that I do seriously want to read um, and that way it can be a little bit more of a useful tool to me so this will be sort of like a year-long project of paying a little bit more attention to what I put on the shelf as well as going back and more critically like reviewing what I've already put in that virtual pile of books to read um, so that it is 
again like a more useful tool and something that I can go and like look at those books and get excited about reading rather than feeling like I have like I don't recognize this book I can't remember why I put it on my shelf because that's how like half of it is right now so that's sort of a little project for myself and then my fourth goal for this year is one I'm not sure exactly how to articulate it but I feel like I have over the last several years just tried to read more and more broadly and more and more diversely um, whether I've accomplished that or not that's usually been my objective like I've really been sort of spreading myself out I say that but actually that's not like across all genres I read a lot of genres I don't read a lot of but I think in terms of like the canon or you know things that would maybe interest me I don't like stick to something I kind of read a little bit diversely and so what I actually want to do this year is to focus on um finding favorite authors and I've had several books that I think could be potential favorite books um and I want to take the time to go back and reread those books to see if they sort of actually are favorites of mine and perhaps that's just me being a little bit picky that I don't think I could like say a book is my favorite if I've only ever read it once because I think there are so many factors that could make you have a good experience with the book the first time that are independent of the book and this is all just personal philosophy right but like for example from this last year I see the the enlightenment of the Greengage tree and Hamnet the Joy Lock Club all as contesters for like absolute all-time favorite books um but I don't think I could say that right now and so what my the point is my goal is to go back and reread these books and as well as to prioritize rereading other books that I think might be lifelong favorites or reading other books from authors that could be my favorite authors um so I suppose like metaphorically speaking I feel like I've been just exploring and I kind of want to like take this year to turn back in and like of what I've already read what do I actually really like what am I gonna like identify as characteristics of genre of um novels of like themes and plot and form that are my favorite and I think if I can sort of consolidate that or like distill specific details out of the like what I've read over the last several years then going forward I might actually be all the more successful um at finding even more favorite books right like it feels like I would be taking time to sort of hone my skill of finding exactly what is my favorite so that is my fourth um goal for the year I have a handful of books that I already have like on a list of ones I definitely want to read this year um so I will just mention a few of those Madame Bovary is one I really really want to get to and 100 Years of Solitude I also really want to reread A Gentleman in Moscow um especially because it is by far my most viewed review here, video on my channel and so I think that it would be really interesting because I, I kind of cringe at that a little bit um, because I don't think it's a very good review but it's the one that everyone has seen the most so I'd kind of like to be able to like make an updated one and have um, a better collection of like more thoughts on the novel. Um, I'm sure that this is one of my favorite books so I would really like to go back and revisit it which falls under the fourth goal for myself really as well. Um, I also want to read the Ali Smith Quartet, the whole, whole, all four books. And then two books and this is kind of random, two books that I have had on my list to read so like these books have been on so many tbrs old man in the sea which is like a hundred pages so i just need to read it and then also the essex serpent which is one of the first books i ever discovered on booktube and one of the first books i added to my tbr and i've still never read it and i've had it out from the library so many times i have it right now so i just want to like actually read that book um I feel like if you've watched this channel for a while you would have seen me talk about that a few times so I at some point I'll read it and it will be a huge celebration we will be very proud of me <laughs> for finally doing that um that's pretty much it um that's everything for this year that I want to focus on and I think that like if I reach my goals of reading my physical TBR and reading a hundred books then um, that's going to encompass a lot of the other sort of secondary goals that I haven't really put down uh, it's clearly defined on paper um, 
So I think that will be a really, that's really enough for me to take on for this year right now. So anyway, it's a bit late in the year. Uh, I guess we're just like a month into it. But if you want to share with me your reading goals, I would also love to hear them down below. So um, please do share with me and say hi in the comments. Um, and I'll see you guys all in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.